Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages? Maybe this isn't working as well as I thought it would. It's August, so we've got the Persetti's meteor shower. So for this, we're gonna do something I've been wanting to do for a long time. We're heading to Alpina to check out the dark sky preserves. What is a dark sky preserve? Well, these are parks that are protected by legislation to ensure that they have the lowest possible light pollution, which makes them perfect to see skies that you've never seen before in your life. So here's the plan. We're gonna hit all three dark sky parks over two days, and then we'll pick two of them to shoot at night. My buddy's got a new summer playlist, we got a road trip, so let's go. First stop is the Rockport State Park, and as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. 4,200 acres of preserve here, and it's all sorts of different types of terrain. It's an old limestone quarry, so there's lots of rock to climb on, and I'll show you some of that in just a second. And each one of these dark sky preserves are gonna have a different vibe to them. So this one has a bunch of different types of terrain to hike on, and of course, shoot the sky from. I mean, do, do I even need to say anything? So guys, the sun is going down and before it gets too dark for me to talk to camera, I just wanna let you know we're at the highest point in Rockport Park and uh, we're gonna see what happens once the sky gets going. So last night was incredible. In fact, there's a line in a Tragically Hip song, they're a band out of Canada, that talks about the stars revealing themselves one at a time. And that's exactly what it looked like. It started with one, then there was two, and then there was thousands upon thousands of stars. I've never seen anything like it. So I caught a couple of the Persetti's meteors as they were coming into Earth's atmosphere, which was super fun. But the good news is we got another night and two parks to check out. So we got some work to do. Let's go. I mean, how do you not jump in the water when you get to a, a place like this? Look at this, there's no one here. I've been here for about 15, 20 minutes. I've got the camera in the water so you can see how crystal clear the water is. And I mean, at night, can you imagine what this place is gonna look like? All right, so I could stay here all day, but we've got one more place that's amazing that we have to go see. So let's go do that. So we are hiking through Thompson's Harbor State Park. And this is a very cool spot because it's one of 50 like it left in the state of Michigan. It's known as a wet swale community. And what's happening here is there's three different ecosystems. You have the forest that we're hiking in right now. There are dunes and of course, marshlands that you can see, which makes this a unique spot to hike and a unique spot to shoot at night. So we're gonna go down and take a look at what it looks like. I don't know if you can hear that friends, but we're almost to the water. I wish I had more time to explore Thompson Harbor because there's tons to explore and we got a tiny window to get all of this done. So I'm gonna keep an eye on these clouds because I'm a little concerned about that for tonight. Then we'll stop the fun, it just might stop what we get. And we're gonna head back the other way. So we settled on Negwagon State Park as our second stop in two nights. And I did that for a couple of reasons. One, I was trying to go far enough south to see if I could do something about these clouds. Turns out, can't do something about those clouds. So we'll see what happens tonight. And if nothing happens, we'll get an amazing sunset and chill out and listen to the waves. So 
So the comments were a no-show last night, but that's okay because this was exactly what I needed. A little relaxed adventure here in Alpena where you can bike, hike, kayak, you can snorkel, the shipwrecks I was talking about, and of course, the sky gazing is amazing. So if you're ready to enjoy the sanctuary of the Great Lakes, head to visitalpena.com. I'm Eric Halkren, and I'll see you next time.